Good day friends, my name is Bobby Phillips and I'm based here in Sydney. Today the story is about an old poor person who resided in a state called Kentucky in in US. Now this person who was there, he used to live under social welfare fund where he used to get $99 and he had an old rugged a car that would not even move. He was so poor that he was feeling very depressed. All right, so what happens is like he had few friends whom he used to invite to his place and once in a while he used to cook some food and and people used to admire it. So he asked his friends like, what can you do? Like, what can I do going forward? Like, you know what? I am running out of cash and I am sick and tired of what I am going through. So I need to do some change. I need to do something so drastically different that I cannot live like this. So he's 65 years old and he's saying that enough is enough. Now it is time for me to move on. Now, his, he asks for suggestion from his friends and his friends suggest, yeah, you know what, right, you have a good recipe. Like whenever we come over to your place, you use, you, you cook chicken very well. So you know what, maybe you should go out and do it, you know, sell it and do something about that. So he said, oh, okay, fine. What I will do is like, he makes a decision and he says that, okay, I am going to do something drastically different. Like I, I need some, I need, I need a change in my life. So he goes out there and he leaves the state. He goes to various other states around in the US and he asks them like, I got something that is phenomenally different. Would you be able to use my recipe? This is a chicken recipe in your restaurant. And please give me a little portion of something that you sell like a percentage of because as a royalty, it is an amazing proposition. You know what? You and me would immediately pick it up. But hundreds and thousands of restaurants he visited, he always they always said, no, that's not workable and we are not able to entertain your request. Now, what does this guy does? It's like he heard 1009 times a big no before he first heard the yes. You know what? Since then, trust me, America has changed its look towards chicken fried and that is right now today you find Kentucky fried chicken which is a KFC that you and me go out there and hog wherever whichever part of the world it is and that gentleman his name is Colonel Harlan David Sanders whom we call Colonel Sanders all right so ladies and gentlemen what I want to tell you is that it is never too late to dream because only if you dream will you ever Come to a conclusion. Only hum, agar hum sapne dek sakte hai, you know, only then, only then we can fruitify what is going to our destination. We can visualize our destination. If you doesn't not matter, it does not matter. Age is just a number. What happens is in here between this year and this year, the six inches that is in between there, that is where the dream happens. And if you desire to dream about something, to achieve something, ladies and gentlemen, I say that you must nurture that that dream you must fortify it if the entire world is against you if you have a dream you keep them into another quadrant there is only two things black or white you either support me in my dream or you do not there's no gray zone you cannot have your legs in both both the boats to achieve your dreams you must focus you must have a laser sharp focus on your goals on your dreams and if you dream to become big Trust me, this universe will converge to make it happen for you. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, just like KFC, just like Colonel Sanders, I ask you, I request you to, to nurture your dreams and take it forward to completion because only if you dream can you achieve your goals. So ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I will leave you for today with a short story about Colonel Sanders and KFC. So just like him who was born in 1890 and only in the year 1955, he first realized that he needed a change. You and me are, might not be that old, you know. So we still have time to dream. We still have time to realize. Today I start dreaming. Today I have made a promise that I will achieve what I desire. And along with that, I want you to be in my quadrant as a supporter, as you can take it for granted that Bobby Phillips will always support you if you dream something big and if it is on the right track, in the right quadrant, with the right purpose, I will be there to support you. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bobby Phillips and I share my love and wishes to each one of you. Take care and what do we always say? Be cool. Love you.